This Illawa FCA season preview is brought to you by Marquis Energy. What's that old football cliche? You only need 11 players to play this game? Well, the Princeton Tigers weren't that far off just three years ago. They only had 15 players on the varsity roster. Well, Coach Jesse Snyder and the rest of his staff have made it cool to play football again, and they are facing a very promising season some three years later. It's been fantastic, and um, all, that, all that credit really goes to the kids and the, the community. We came in four years ago at you know, came in with, we had 15 guys on the varsity and the seniors this year were freshmen that year and we kind of, we ground, we ground, we told the kids that, you know, we're building a foundation for the program, for the community, for the school and uh, that's what they've done. So they've done a nice job of really building up to that and buying into that. Well, it had to be pretty courageous for you to, to do that, to say, you know what, uh, we are letting you guys take ownership of this, the young guys, and uh, I mean, you knew you are going to take your lumps, but uh, here, you, here you are, it's really paid off. Well, it's a credit to them, and it's a credit to the kids, the kids that were here my very first year, the seniors and juniors, that they went through all that, that hardship, knowing that things were going to be tough. You know, they knew coming in that they were going to be a foundation for a program. You, know, you can't build a house with a foundation, and every day before practice, we build a house as a team, and, yeah. and that's kind of, they understood that role. There's going to be small successes for them but they may not have seen the W's that you know, teams strive for and you know they were, our kids have really bought into that. Mm -hmm. How much do you want those guys that uh, that were here that first year to say hey you have ownership in this this is this is uh, this is part of the fruit. I think they know it. That's we talked about all the time. I tell kids all the time once you're part of the program you're always part of it. Come back come back to practice anytime. We've had some guys that have gone on and played at, at college at the college level come back and, and work out just use the field, use the facility and be around and they're part of the Princeton Princeton family, Princeton football family now. It stunk the first couple years we were here just getting our butts kicked all the time but um, I mean we just kept working hard and last year just winning three games was a nice start and we're looking forward to this year. So what's the perfect next step now you know as, as you guys have grown you know what do you, what are your hopes and expectations this, this year as, uh, as you face the, the long haul of the nine game schedule? Uh, well just to come out the very first game and make a statement against Riverdale and just go from there. Boy. The Tigers have tons of varsity experience back on both sides of the ball, including nine returning starters on offense. This could be a breakout year for the Tigers, and certainly they've put their work in in the offseason. It's nice having just the majority of us coming back. We have our main, just one lineman missing and then one split end missing. It's all great, just all of us coming back together and knowing what pieces to put together from building experience from last year. How does that change the preseason, too, that uh, there doesn't have to be a lot of teaching? You know, it's just more execution and uh, getting yourself uh, in the fitness level you want, I guess. It's much easier. We can fly at a way faster pace. We all can just learn stuff and just go with it because we all know what the concepts are and we all know how to do everything well and just execute and then perform from last year because last year was all learning. It's basically just building steps from what we did last year and just becoming better going into the season. How crucial was it that you um, you preached that this is a fun game too, not just, uh, you know, it's not just going to be business, it's going to be pleasure too. Yeah, well, it's, we, we try and keep it fun. Some of the guys will probably tell you that sometimes I take that away. <laughs> um, but uh, we, I want, we want it to be fun. We want there to be energy and when the kids have energy and like Jake said, I mean, these guys are, especially the senior group and even the junior group, they're real close-knit. You know, they hang out together outside of football, and they do a lot of things together, and it adds that energy when they're, they're working out here in, on the game field and the practice field. Mm -hmm. How has this uh, uh, affected your life, too, you know, to, to see uh, just uh, the kind of results that can come from committing to a bunch of 15- and 16-year-olds? You know? It can be... Uh, it can be frustrating at times. No, it's, it's 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 the most rewarding job. I, I mean, that I've had. I went into it right out of college, and it's, I knew it's something I wanted to wanted to do with with my career. And it was uh, you know those first two years at 09 and 09. There's a lot of like I said, mental stress that comes on. You start thinking about okay, what if we do this? What if we do that? And a lot of it comes down to understanding you know this is the the goal, and these are the things we have to do to be successful and overcoming that adversity to hopefully reap the benefits that we can strive for this year. Mm -hmm. How has the community uh, responded to this too? And, and I mean, uh, that, that's got to be part of this community, kind of uh, its heartbeat is kind of built around how the high school is doing too, right? It's a phenomenal community. Yeah. I mean, the real support of our programs, of our kids, whether they play football, whether they're in band, whether they're in choir, um, our parents and the, the people in this community are really committed to these, these young people. And that's, that's a really, really important thing. Hey, Tiger coaches and athletes, are you ready to start Fellowship of Christian Athletes at school this year? To find out how, you can contact me or check out our website at illawafca.org. With this FCA season preview, I'm Dan Pearson.